December 2008. One significant event takes place at ATS Paradiso, a large residential complex in Greater Noida. It becomes Fiber to the Home or FDTH enabled. That means all the residential units of the complex are now successfully connected by optical fiber and associated equipment. This event, however small and quiet may be, definitely symbolizes a big leap in the history of FDTH in India. This project is indeed the first of its kind in the country which is operational. India thus joins the elite group of countries who have successfully implemented FDTH technology on GPON platform. Copper network used for providing telecom services was appropriate in the 20th century when there was only one service provider having only one service to provide. But with technological advancement and with the opening up of the economy, today we have access to multiple services like voice, video and data. And often there are more than one service providers for each service. Every service provider now lays parallel cable lines for every single service they wish to provide. So we see a big cluster of cables all over. Such parallel networks could be really painful. It makes the servicing of equipment so complex. Building aesthetics is lost and users have very little freedom in selecting their service providers. Last but not the least, copper network can allow only limited bandwidth. Hence, it appears, copper network may not survive much longer. In contrast, FTTH can provide 100 Mbps or even more of bandwidth. Users of FTTH connected homes can now enjoy various high bandwidth services simultaneously, like watching high quality IPTV in one room. India is on the move again. We shall make the future happen. While in another room, they can watch a movie on demand. or can browse various contents provided by a content provider. The high clarity video phones can add lot of community values like no cost video intercom among the residents, tele-education and many more. In the FTTH system, the service providers terminate their respective services to the GPON, the core equipment. Virtual circuits or service pipelines are then created for every service provider and their services. This enables them to reach the OMT kept at the user's home. Services are then distributed through the OMT as per the choice of the user. The system also takes full care of the common area requirement of a residential complex like control and monitoring of the surveillance cameras, perimeter light control, common area Wi-Fi and many other building management services including prepaid electricity solution. The absence of clustered dish antennas outside the home also retains the designer's original architecture. The service providers gain handsomely from the present arrangement. All of them save the huge capital cost of building their individual network. They also retain direct relationship with the end users. Radius remains a neutral facilitator with the sole purpose of operating and maintaining the infrastructure and has aptly named its operation as Nano that is neutral access network operation. Today ATS Paradiso is just a small beginning but many realtors are already evaluating the option of changing over to fiber 
very seriously. Maybe the time will come very soon when buyers would like to first ensure that their dream home will certainly become FTTH enabled before they finally opt for it. Radius, a new age, a new edge.